It's almost a head taller. It's, uh, interesting. First of three scheduled two minute rounds here. Liam Tarrant and K1 superstar Dadia Albers joining you from Battle Rock 4. We've got Tom Meng in the red corner with the red gloves and Kevin Fancy in the blue. Quickly going to work with the hands. That's the last time we saw Kevin Fancy here at Battle Rock. He, uh, he was fighting an opponent and won by controversial decision. Kevin Fancy tends to throw wide looping shots. We're gonna see how Tom Meng from the Watt in New York City, gym of crew nice. Phil Nurse is going to handle those. Tom stepping out of the corner nicely. Kevin Fancy going with the punches into the clinch right away. Now the last time we were here at, it was at Battle Rock 1 I believe, we had Kevin Fancy and he, uh, it was actually Battle Rock 2 my mistake. Kevin Fancy uh, was uh, jumping into the clinch, caught Hit his opponent with a couple of low blows by accident. Ooh, that wow. That left hook, Tom Meng threw, wow. Very good. We spoke to Tom Meng before the fight about uh, what Muay Thai means to him. And he, he was actually a uh, veteran from uh, Operation Iraqi Freedom, and he told us Muay Thai is the only thing that helped him with his uh, post-traumatic stress disorder, and he couldn't imagine his life without it. <laughs> it looks like he's causing some stress for Kevin Fancy right now. Holding on to the clinch a little bit too long. Referee Joel Becker doing a good job in there. Now they will let yep. the clinch go on here, but if you're not doing work, they'll break it. Yep. Now this fight is being fought under the rules of the United USKA, US Kickboxing Association. Nice. Wow. Right. Level change here. Went to the body, right back up top. There are no knees allowed to the head, but kicks to the head are allowed. Now Tom Meng. Coming out of the Watt in New York City, his last fight was in 2013, which was a split decision loss. Coming back to get that first victory on his record. And when you have those head kicks involved, those head shots can come pretty quick. Second of three scheduled two minute rounds here. Tom Meng of the Watt in the red corner. Kevin Fancy in the blue of Camp Undefeated and Coach Laszlo Hay. Tom Meng of the Watt, which is Crew Phil Nurse's gym there. What, ta what Tom does very good he steps out of Kevin's, uh, to the right side of Kevin. So he blocks his, his um, left leg. Mm. That's how you dominate someone. It's ah. very good, so he can step out. He steps out also from the punching uh, hand from Kevin. Fighters from the Watt, known for a very strong clinch and great fundamentals. We yep. always see a great fight from them here at Battle Rock. Kevin Fancy looking to put his second win of his Battle Rock career in place here. Ooh, Tom Mang almost got the knee up to the chin there, which um, got it pretty high there. Squaring off again, Kevin Fancy stepping in with the jab. Tom Mang Very reacting with the inside, inside kick. I'm sorry, what? Very good inside. And so it is, but he has a wide stance, so the inside side kick blocks him nice from coming in. Tom Meng stepping around, taking his time. Kevin Fancy taking advantage and getting that inside low kick. Very good. Ooh. There was the body head combination. Mm -hmm. Listening to his corner well. Oh, Kevin Fancy caught the accidental low blow there. Low kick from Tom Meng inside. It's very smart from him because um, Kevin's boxing distance is Tom kicking distance already because he has so much more reach. Mm -hmm. So every time when Kevin steps in, he kicks his legs. Very good, well, very well done. Punching out of the clinch there from both gentlemen. Second round comes to a close here, third and final. Referee Joel Becker calling a start to the third and final two minute round here at Battle Rock 4 between Tom Meng in the red gloves, Kevin Fancy in the blue. Tom Meng so far 
Showing some great fundamentals, nice. nice kicks landing, but Kevin Fancy landed a punch of his own yes. there. Kevin has a beautiful boxing reach. He, he should use that a little bit more. More precise, jab, jab, punch, does it, simple combinations. Do you think yes. Tom is doing a better job with the distance here? It yeah, I mean, Kevin should use his uh, his uh, distance. He's the, he's the long, taller fighter. Mm. Is Tom so doing a good job of controlling the range and not letting Yeah, Kevin very well. Yeah. Because he, he's also ducking, he's sneaking mm. in. And since they fight with the clinch, so he can hold on to the clinch. Referee Joel Becker breaking them up for lack of action. What? Right. Ooh, yeah. wow. A clubbing left hand there. Rocked yeah. ahead of Kevin Fancy quickly. Kevin came good back. Delivered some shots by himself. There we go. Referee break, breaks him out again. Brings it back to the middle. Tom Meng lending a low kick, low left kick there. Kevin Fancy goes back into the clinch. It's smart for him to go for, uh, for Kevin's right leg. Mm -hmm. Also because it's usually the weaker leg. Kevin Fancy with a kick of his own there. Yes. Oh, final round here. We're going to see who has it in the tank to get this done. Very good fight. Tom Meng breathing out of his mouth there a little bit. Coming back as anybody would be and after this kind of a again. fight. Wow. Yeah, that low kick. Again, this leg. Very good. Kevin Fancy charging forward. Tom Meng, even with a hand stuck outside the rope, still going for the shot. I love it. There we go. That's going to be a close to that fight, and we're going to—it's going to go to the judges' decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give it up for our fighters. We have a winner by majority decision. Judge A sees his fight 28-29. Judge B sees his fight 29-28, and Judge C sees it 28-29. In favor of. New York City's own Tom Meng. Tom Meng picks up the first win of his career, and he certainly looks excited about it. Great job from both fighters in that match. Yeah, very good.